A camera is possibly just a tool we use as an excuse to go out there and experience nature. Reset the brain. Get a dose of normalcy in a world of endless human dramatics and bad news. Finding new ways to experience nature is a challenge. As is finding new angles, new motives, or at least creating a different perspective on the usual subjects. A floating hide has proven to be productive in our bird photography. The floating hide gives you the feeling of proximity, the feeling of being very close to the subject. A vital part of wildlife photography is finding ways to get close to the subjects, getting new perspective, a different perspective. There's probably no camera or lens on the planet able to replace the need to be close to the subject. Getting close without disturbing birds and animals is a constant challenge. Getting into the water to cool down. It's a bit heavy. Uh. Our plan is to go out to yep. the lake, along the shore, there are, there are lots of birds everywhere and uh, take it very slowly because even though we are in camo they see something moving and uh, we're gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get some shots. Yeah, we shall try to stay near yeah. the, the grass. Yeah, near the bank. Yeah, near the bank. What's great about these heights is not that you're invincible or anything like that, you're not. But you get a different perspective and uh, we've seen that uh, sometimes very common birds offer great opportunities for uh, portraits and uh, you can see them at a very natural perspective in the bank, just doing the business some, sometimes they are just curious, so I have no idea what we are doing. Yeah. I've had birds sitting on here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's amazing. Do that again, please. <laughs> yeah. If one does that, remember, take a shot. Yeah. I think I will see it. So. Okay, so let's go. Try this. Okay, there's a big hair on my sensor and uh, 
Well, I admit that this is the first time I need to perform sensor cleaning in the middle of a water. I can see it as a huge hair. I think I know who's the culprit. My dog. Don't try this at home. The feeling of proximity affects how we experience nature. It changes how videos and photos as a media affect the viewer's experience. In a certain way, it adds the feeling of closeness, the feeling of something special, intimacy. Over the years we have used floating heights on lakes. The floating heights have benefits, but by no means suitable for all lakes. This is why it's important to use the floating heights only when conditions are suitable. Sometimes it's better to simply lay down at the water bank and wait. By staying low you can get a similar perspective. The goal is often to get a very low perspective. With the introduction of mirrorless cameras, it became a whole lot easier to take videos along with photos. Taking video from a floating height is and will probably always be a challenge. You are floating, you are always moving and using slow motion and stabilization helps. It's not every day we wake up to the singing of seven great northern divers and one very rarely seen black-throated loon. Black-throated loons are a very rare sight in Iceland. They had not been seen in Iceland before the year of 2016. When we shot this video, it had only been seen a few times by bird watchers. Most likely it was always the same bird. The great northern divers are not shy, they surprised us by getting really close. The sounds, they are amazing 
and the dramatics. After all, being in the water, feeling the presence of the birds and listening to the sounds, it's not so much about the photography, it's the experience. In the coming weeks and months we are going to publish many videos on this channel. In the past year we have shot footage for at least 15 videos waiting to be edited and uh, published. If you want to support our work and follow us on our photography adventures in both wildlife and landscape photography, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching. Ja, så har han bara lagt den här och sånt.